Okay, this next skill is to find the in center of a triangle. Um, this is a circle on the inside of this triangle. And so in order to do this, unlike the last one, we are bisecting the angles this time. So we're talking about bisecting these three angles right here. And that's a different thing. So you take your compass and put your compass at any given length, any length that you want. I like it a little bit closer together because it's easier, in my opinion. Okay, and then put the metal part on any of the vertex and twist the paper to make yourself a little semicircle. Okay, now that you have that semicircle, what you're going to do is you're going to open your compass and place it on both of the ends of that semicircle that you made where it meets the triangle and lock it into place. Put your metal piece down and make a little semicircle on one side. Put the metal piece down on the other side. Make a little semicircle. And where those two cross, if you can see that, where these two cross and where it meets the corner here, that's where we're going to make our line. So from the corner through that specific spot, use purple this time. That's the line we care about. We don't care about these little circles now. Go ahead and erase those on your paper. And there we go. We have that side. This angle is perfectly bisected, meaning both halves of this are the same. Now pick another side. Once again, open your compass to whatever length you like. You're going to do the same thing. Put your pointy side, the metal side down, and make a semicircle going across that angle. And open up your compass so that both ends are touching the semicircle you made and the triangle. Make sure that you get this as perfect as you can because that is going to make the difference whether or not this actually works. Okay, and then you're going to make yourself a semicircle in one direction. Just rotate that paper. And then on the other one, start a little further back and rotate the paper. And once again, where those two semicircles cross in your vertex. Okay, so where these two cross, and then where it meets up with the vertex, you're going to draw that line. And then go ahead and erase those semicircles. Don't care about those. All right. Next side. You're going to take your compass and you're going to put one end on that vertex and rotate. And once again, put, find that length. This one is tiny. Okay, so if you'll notice, if you look at this, see how my metal pointy end is longer than my pencil? If I want them that close together, that's going to be a problem because this is going to be touching the paper, but this side isn't. So all you got to do is open up this little lever right here and move the pencil down and you can kind of test to see if they're both touching and then click it back into place. Okay, now you don't want this one to be longer than this one because then you're going to have a hard time turning your paper. Okay, now go back and check that length again and adjust your pencil if you need to, like this time I made it a little bit too long. And you can fix that. There we go. Okay, and then go ahead and draw your little arches on both sides. And then that tiny X and through that vertex there is where we need to go. And if we did this right, it should pass through 
not only that point, but this point right over here. So go ahead before you make the mark and try to make both of those things true, that it pa or all of these true. You pass through the vertex, you pass through this X, and you pass through this point right over here, all at the same time. Kind of line up your protractor perfectly before you even start to make a mark. I'm going to do this one in pink. Okay, now, once again, this is not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. I think I got closer this time than I did last time. So mark that place where they all three cross. That is the center of your circle. And if you remember back to this, we're making an in center. So this circle is going to be on the inside of this triangle. So this is the center of your triangle, so go ahead and take your compass and put the metal in there. You want the edge of the compass to touch that line on the inside, and then put the weight down on the metal side and rotate your paper. Make sure you're being really light with that pencil, so otherwise this isn't going to work. And I did this incorrectly because it should be on the end. So I redid those lines, and now let's try again. So. I think what I did was I made my compass too wide, obviously. So if we start at that point where they all intersect again, and then I'm just going to kind of like go over it to kind of see what's going to happen before I actually make the line. And this time it looks like I'm still going to go over when I get to this spot right here. So let me fix it when I get to here. If this is getting a little bit too close, maybe I have my compass slightly too tight, or maybe I'm in the wrong spot slightly. Okay, so let's try this. So once you've adjusted, try making your pencil marks. And ooh, this is gonna be perfect this time. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay. So, take your pencil and make that a little stronger, or your pen if you have one. And this is what it should look like. It should touch the edges of the triangle on all sides. 